Happy Thursday, everyone. It's Olivia from eTherapy. Megan is going to talk about some icebreakers today and how you can do them with your students. So go ahead and take it away, Megan. Thanks, Olivia. And hi, everyone. I'm Megan from eTherapy here to talk with you, as Olivia said today, about icebreakers. Obviously, icebreakers are a great way to kick off the new school year. And I wanted to share just a few of our favorite with you. The first few that I'm going to recommend come from the site Teachers Pay Teachers. Now on this site, you can create an account and then you have access to download a plethora of free and paid resources. A few of my favorite, this one in particular would be great for upper elementary, middle, and even high school students. It's a a spinoff of Facebook and it's a get to know you worksheet where the student's able to fill in information about themselves. All you have to do is download this sheet and it is then able to screen share into your platform. A few other of my favorites, this all about me freebie, again from Teachers Pay Teachers, is a hit with my younger up through even early middle school students. As you can see, once I have this download, I'm able to add in annotation tools or drawing tools for my platform where my students can then interact type on the worksheets, they can change the color. So if it's a group session, we can identify which student's answers are going on the sheet. And the other great thing about these All About Me activities, it really lets you learn a lot more about your students. So you can remember fun little tidbits about their pet's names or a family member a few months down the road and you can pull out that information to help keep them interested and knowing you're interested in them as well. Another example for the older crowd would be something like this high school information sheet. Kids can doodle, talk about their favorite doodle, best day of their life, even looking at some career aspirations, jobs they wouldn't or would like to have. So definitely keeping your student's age in mind is really important. But again, these icebreaker sheets are a great way to learn more about your students and also to help your students learn a little bit more about the tools and features in your platform. Switching gears, you can use a board game in your sessions as a way to break the ice. This one is a back to school board game. Once again, coming from Teachers Pay Teachers, it was a free download I was able to find on their site. And I would use this in conjunction with an online spinner. This one from Super Teacher Tools is great because it's customizable. You can add students' names. The students can select their color choice. And then you have a nice interactive spinner. And so now we know it's Lily's turn to take her turn on the board game. Once again, you can get your students comfortable with remote control features or annotation tools in your platform. This one's fun if the students use the stamper tool. So now Lily knows that she gets to move or mouse to whichever question. You could set the spinner up, they're customizable, so if you don't want it to be the student's names, you could certainly add things instead, like numbers for the number of spaces you want them to spin. But again, a great way to break the ice and allow your students the ability to interact with the tools in your platform. Yet another idea comes to us from a site called mystorybook.com. This would be a great way for students of any age to tell you about their summer. On this site, they can create text. They can customize characters. And they can add picture scenes to tell you about their summer. It's a fun and interesting way for your students to break the ice in their therapy sessions. One idea, if you're not quite feeling comfortable quite yet jumping into these more digital options, is you can go a bit more low tech. If your student might be struggling a bit with technology in the first session, you can just pull out the old scavenger hunt. Give your student an allotted time, maybe two minutes to travel around their home and find two or three of their favorite items that they can bring back to share something for show and tell. This can be a great way, again, for you to get to know more about your student, 
and for your student not to feel overwhelmed jumping into the first session right away with technology. I also want to just kind of put a plug in to stay tuned because coming up in the uh, future weeks, we're going to be sharing another great icebreaker activity that's really geared towards middle and high school students called renderforce.com. So stay tuned for that coming more. Thanks for checking in with me today to learn all about my favorite icebreakers. Thanks, Megan, for those icebreakers. I hope everyone gets to use them, and we look forward to talking to you guys soon. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.